Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here, and today we're gonna learn how to reset this Hike Vision camera. But before I continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, all right? Here's how to reset the Hike Vision camera. You just need to open it up as I did here. I just removed the cover and then I look for the reset button that's right here. Depending on your camera, could be a different place, but there is no indication that's this a reset button. And you, what you have to do is to press and hold the button for 20 seconds, and then the camera is going to reset, okay? So I've seen video people uh, working together to hold the button, disconnect the cable and connect the cable again. But I found out that you can do by yourself. You don't need an extra person here to help you out because you just need to unplug the cable and then you plug it again okay and then you hold the button that's all you have to do okay so let's do it but before let me just take a look here at the screen so i can see the live image right now i have access to the camera so let's suppose that, that i don't have access anymore let me just log out here Okay, so let's suppose I forgot the password. I'm going just to send a ping to the camera. That's the address that I have right now. 192.168.0.103. Just to make sure the camera is responding. Okay, and also can you use the Hike Vision 2 to find the camera. The SADP2 here. It finds the camera, even if the camera is using a different IP. Okay, let me just bring back here this common prompt. So I'm pinging the camera and now I'm just going to disconnect the camera and it's going to power it down because I'm removing the PoE power from the camera. Okay, so if you look at the screen, the camera is not responding anymore. There's a request timeout. And if I try to use the SADP2 to find the camera, it cannot find anymore. Of course, because the camera is down now. Okay, so let me just connect back here. And as soon as I connect, I hold the button here for 20 seconds. So after 20 seconds, you just release the button and you wait for the camera to come back. And there's no indication here, no LEDs showing that the camera's up or something. You just need to wait. And here in this camera, for example, there's a relay that clicks so you can hear the click. And also the camera start doing the pan and tilt movement here to uh, do the tests. And then you see that camera's working, okay? And you can also check on the screen when the camera is back. You see, there's a click. Then the camera is going to start moving. It's moving the lens now. I can see from here, there's a lens that's moving. And then comes the pan movement. Okay, so the camera is basically coming back. And it shakes a little bit. It's still testing. That's how it happens with the PTZ camera. If you're using a DOM camera, it will be different. Okay. So I just wait for a little while and I look at here the screen. I already see that the software found it. As you can see here, it's not pinging anymore because this is the old address. When it resets, it comes to the default address, as you can see here. And default ports and everything else, so it's working. It's inactive because I need to log into the camera for the first time and create a password, okay? So what I have to do here is to put my computer in the same network. It's a different network now. Mine is 192.168.0 something. And here I need to change to this one, okay? So I just come here to the network settings. You can come here using your control panel. So here in the ethernet, I'm just uh, common properties here TCP version 4 and as you can see here my IP is different from the cameras so I just need to come here to advance it and include an extra IP here as you can see here I have 160 
Let me just remove and you can see how I do that. This is just come here, add an IP address, 192.168.1.160, okay? And I add here and it's done. So I have a new IP address and then I can just test the camera if it's pinging with the new IP address, okay? Let me just change here to one. 64. This is just a common prompt. If you don't know how to bring it, you just need to come here and type CMD. And then you, you bring a com common prompt here. You see? That's the way I do. And then you just put the command here, ping and the IP address. And so it's pinging the camera now. It's working. As you can see. Now I can open our browser and change the IP address. So as you can see here, I need to come to default IP address 164 and add me. And now I need to insert my new password. Hit OK. And the camera asks for security questions. So I just input my security question here, security answers. OK, after fill in everything here, just hit OK and you're good to go. Just need to come here then to configuration. You see it's upside down. I can come here to configuration and change my IP back and also can change the image. Let me just come here to image adjustment and put the mirror in the other configuration so I can see normally now. Okay, so it's basically working now with the default IP address and I just need to change to my IP address I was using before and it's done.